Welcome to Immersive Smithing, a new mod by Cylon Surfer. With your blacksmith's hammer in hand, use the forge like never before. Start by opening your spell wheel and select a raw material that matches the weapon you wish to temper. I'll be improving an imperial sword, so I'll be choosing a steel ingot. Now drop it into the flames for it to be consumed. It's now time to select your weapon and plunge it into the fiery depths of the forge. When the weapon reaches its critical point temperature, it will be imbued with the power of the forge. Now take it to the forge's anvil and begin to hammer the item. After work hardening your weapon, complete the tempering by placing it in the water trough. You now have a tempered, but albeit blunt weapon ready for sharpening. Walk over to the grinding wheel and make yourself comfortable by touching the seat with your hand. Raise your weapon to the stone to begin the sharpening process. That looks about right. Should be sharp enough to split a skeever in two. Now it's time to look at armor. With your blacksmith's hammer in hand, choose a forging material from Spell Wheel. Allow it to drop from your tight grasp down into the flames below. Now choose an armor that you wish to improve, but remember, it must match the material you dropped into the forge. After which it needs heating until it becomes more malleable. In its now pliable state, take the armor to the workbench. It's now time to work the armor with the hammer until it's hardened and finally ready for battle. Excellent, that looks good enough to wear in the Cloud District or even the Jarl's Palace. To exit smithing simply open spell wheel and unequip your blacksmith's hammer. Players can also use the tanning rack to create items such as leather and leather strips. To start, you will first need to equip a dagger while near a tanning rack. Next open spell wheel and select a fur pelt. Now move the pelt closer to the rack's wooden frame. The pelt will glow when it is safe to release it. Now strike the hung pelt until it turns to leather. You can now either store the leather or turn it into strips. For strips, move the leather closer to the frame and then let it go. A chopping block will spawn, which you can then use to chop your leather into bits. To end tanning, and equip your dagger or walk away from the tanning rack. Finally, it's time to look at smelting. Start by opening your spell wheel in your offhand. Next, select the ore you wish to smelt and drop it in the smelter's bucket. A second ore lump will likely be required. Now touch the smelter's handle with your right hand. Watch as the smelter pours your melted ore into the guy. You can now take your ingot and store it ready for use at the forge. Thank you for watching.